Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for Scrap the Boys. And for July, we want you to take inspiration from that beautiful pink and blue graphic. Now, I don't know about you, but um, it reminded me a little bit of baby, like babies. Um, and I, I know Rachel picks these kinds of things to uh, get us out of our comfort zones. Um, so yes, so I dug deep in my stash and I found a picture of my oldest years and years ago um, at my sister's house in California. I, I want to say they were playing with colored shaving cream shaving cream I think it was shaving cream and I remember telling my sister just a little bit of color but yes in good old Renee fashion they were pink and blue for the rest of the day I really I really don't remember how long it lasted um, but they had a blast. You could actually see my brother-in-law in the background <laughs> with like a spray, <laughs> a pressure washer nozzle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that was some good times. Um, so yeah, this was, this was in my stash just sitting there and I thought, how perfect are those colors so I grabbed it I also grabbed a Vicky Booten stencil and I also grabbed a confessions of a paper addict cut file I believe that one is like star circle frame or something like that there's there's a thousand thousand of um, cut files in the shop so go check that out um and yeah i just wanted to get messy i love these kinds of um projects because really you just start from scratch i didn't have at all a uh, a collection in mind i knew i wanted to get messy um and i and i found the picture and knew um I knew it was going to be lots of fun, but I did. I just dived into my stash. I have a little bowl of just random things on my desk. I went through that and I pulled out a few things. I also um, went through my stash of already cut pattern paper and I grabbed um, a few pages from that. Um, and then I have another little bowl of um, just tabs and um, those kinds of things. So I grabbed one of those and then you see some title words. I went through my stash of those and then there's some stickers. Um, ones from a hip kit. I don't think I used any of those but the sparkly ones um, I think were from a Dear Lizzie collection. So yes, so I love um, using up my stash on these kinds of projects. It just, you know, it makes me dig deep and um, it really makes me um, appreciate that I've held on to some things that, you know, I wasn't ready to let go of um, and that I used them. So yes, so um, take advantage of those kinds of projects to dip into your stash because um you know not everything's gonna be sh brand new um I know I don't have the room for it so um so yes but anyway I used a little bit of that butter stencil butter th this color is called platinum from um, the crafters workshop it really is smooth like butter um, and yeah I just picked the silver I figured that would be okay um, and I do I do like how it turned out um, and then again I found some title stickers 
I know, I think one is from Echo Park and one is from Paige Evans. So yeah, just mix some of those up for a, for a quick, sweet summer title. Um, and of course I had to do the whole drippy, <laughs> drippy look because, well, that is what my son looks like. He's just a drippy mess. And I thought the little XO was a cute little touch um, because, yes, they had a ball. There's those little acrylic pieces. I think they're from Alley Studio, but they were hanging out in my little bowl. So um, I used those up. I don't use those stickers. And then I do find a little tab. Mm, what does it say? something about an adventure. I, I believe that's from Ellie Studios too. <laughs> there it is, the final page. Thank you so much for watching. Please come and join us. Scrap those boys. Thank you. Bye-bye.